So as the launch example to my little mini commentary on a willing heart in terms of philanthropy, I just want to comment that there's no time in my insinuating that the previous person who was trying to be kind and generous to me was not really her intent. But I also know that with enough satellite technology in the sky that the people who will look out for me as I'm living in this poverty and they're evaluating me are recognizing what a person will do inside of a store on their cell phone and with other people about you. The concept of a willing heart is something that people have to really pay attention to, especially in the area of financial abuse. There's a lot of people who want to give philanthropic opportunities to people. It sort of reminds me of the situation with Harvey Weinstein, who is a Hollywood producer who has apparently utilized his abilities in film to well, be sexually inappropriate. Let's just say that. In essence, it's a form of financial abuse. It's, I'll give you a job if you do me. And I don't like that. I think it's immoral. I've always felt it's immoral. But it doesn't mean that men don't make mistakes in their business practices. But he is making blatant, intentional, purposeful, predatory mistakes. At any rate, moving on to a generous heart or a willing heart. A willing heart is willing to be led by the Lord to make a difference for someone. They're not led there to be an attractor or a detractor or a harmful person to someone. I'm coming on, commenting on this because I have a little sign that talks about some of my work in my ministry. It's attached to my rollator cart, which is sort of at the present moment, helping me to walk with my marvelous four out of five sleeping bags for my family. Someone stole one and I gave my sixth away. I'm not going to say why. The reality is I don't know who took my second black sleeping bag. That's not the point. The point is I had a sign on the front of my cart talking about different types of abuse. And someone today ripped off a edge of my sign and threw it in on me. And I didn't notice because I was busy working. But basically a woman walked by and then looked back at me and kept going. It's kind of one of those nanny nanny boo boo did you know it was me so when I went out at the Lord's request to take a look at something to change some things around to make sure things were secure and you know what not because I've got headphones in my ears so I can't always hear things that openly I discovered that more of my sign had been ruined the sign itself has had its left upper corner cut off in a square and now it's right corner cut off in a square so the word I has been removed from my sign and the word city has been removed from my sign along with this edge of the sign that this woman clearly tore off what I'm really curious about is people's psychology and why they would think it'd be okay to touch someone's marketing materials no matter how it's created whether it's done by hand like I'm doing now or if it's done in graphic designs like I used to do on my design computer back home in my screen screen studio and office for my video uh, production company, I just really want to know why. Why is it that you think you have the right to walk up to any stranger's property and put your paws on it? Why is it that you think you have the right to walk up to somebody like me and cut off my pagan priest beard? Why is it that you have the feeling that you have the right to me impromptly to cut off my beard in a sexual attack on me? Why is it that you think you have the right to make me subservient and a slave to you in a way that is a deviant behavior of you?